Hello, hello. God bless you all. God bless you. God keep you. May the rest of your day be wonderful and marvelous. And may you sleep and your slumber be peaceful and restful and rewarding to your mind, body, and soul. Uh, I went to church earlier today and I couldn't listen because I was trying to find this lady I was supposed to meet and she didn't, I didn't see the lady. She didn't show up for church. So I went back to church a few minutes ago and uh, I was listening to the pastor. Basically, he's saying don't get angry at things, you know, and be thankful to your mother and uh, pray about it. You know, you don't argue and fight with nobody. You just pray about it and pray about a person and pray for people that misuse you and uh, that do wrong to you. And um, I want to say this prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil ones. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Lord, I pray, I pray for all the people that uh, are involved in the tragedy over there in Texas. I pray, Lord Jesus, for the people that lost loved ones. I pray, Lord, that you give them what they need. The churches are talking about uh, sending some offers, and I will too, Lord. Um, I pray, Lord, that we cover them with our love and with our presence of uh, gifts, of needs, of tissue paper, of housing, you know, love. I pray, Lord, that uh, they have their needs and all of them be met in the name of Jesus. Uh, um, I want to say this, and uh, I really don't care how people take it, but I want you to thank. Uh, as you know, my mother died last week. And um, she died in a nursing home. She died in Kristen Kerr West. Um, I called uh, Kristen Kerr for the last uh, two weeks. And I requested her medical records. Uh, Rita, Rita A. Underwood from the corporate office. She stated that I cannot have my mother's medical records. And they can hold them for 50 years. They don't have to give me my mother's medical records. That right there is a red flag to me. That says that something was uh a miss you feel me so uh i'm not gonna worry about her but yeah that's what she said yeah christian care corporate office the nursing home uh with that i want to say this i pray for you rita uh underwood i pray for christian care west i pray for christian care all over and the residents in there uh i want to say this i pray lord jesus Father, you've been good. You've been good to me. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. You've been good to all of us. Anybody that woke up this morning, they were blessed. I pray, Lord Jesus, for anybody that did any harm to my mother. Yes, Mary Jane Wilkes. She wasn't a saint, but she was a human being. She was an elderly person, and she didn't deserve what she received to become blind because her guardian didn't take care of her, her needs. To have people in her family take her social security number and go out here and purchase things with it. And also take her house from her family. That's what, oh yeah, family. If that's what you want to call it. But Jesus said, family are people that believe as I believe. And so evidently the people that stole from her don't believe. I pray for them. I pray for all my family members that stole from her. Most important, I pray Lord Jesus that you reveal them. And when I find out who it is that did the things to my mother, I will reveal them. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you lay your hand on them. And I pray that you repay them like they did my mother. I pray for everybody that did something to her. Because nobody deserves that. Because if you'll steal from my mother, you'll steal from me. You'll come up in my house and play like you my family and you'll take from me. You'll rob me while I'm alive and you'll rob me while I'm dead. I pray for all the elderly people out here. I've been talking to a couple of elderly people, and they've been informing me that they don't know a lot of things, especially about the computer. And they didn't know that they've been being taken advantage of, especially by banks overcharging them with that overdraft fee. 
They didn't know that they don't have to pay them. They don't know a lot of things about the law. Same as my mother did. But my mother, she was a good person. When people didn't have a place to stay in the LG and e and stuff was cut off, my mother, she let people come and stay with us. My mother opened her doors and she opened her life up to people. You know, like I said, she wasn't the best person in the world, but she portrayed herself on numerous occasions as a Christian. And she believed in God and she was baptized. And she's in heaven. Uh, she's heaven bam. I pray, Lord Jesus, for people that talk godly but do evil acts. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you reveal them to be the fakes that they are. I pray, Lord Jesus, for everything that a person does that they keep in the closet. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about in the closet. How you want to smile in a person's face and you stab them in the back. You, 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 you didn't do nothing for when she was hurt, but then you turn around and you take from. Yeah, reveal that, Lord. Reveal that. Show all the faces, Lord. Show all the names. Show all the procedures that was performed in her name while she was in a nursing home for the last seven years. Reveal that, Lord. Not just to me. Reveal it public. Reveal it legally. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord, I pray for all people, all elderly people that's in nursing homes, that's being abused, that's being neglected, that's being not even thought of, not just by their family, Lord, being abused and neglected by the people that work in the nursing homes. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you send a mighty word to them. I pray that you send change. It's sad in our society that people who have lived in this world and have, have contributed to the civil rights movement by outliving lynchings, but yet within their own family, they're being spiritually lynched. They're being taken advantage of. I remember my mother, Mary Jane Willis. She named me after a white lady that she used to work for. She cleaned the house for. My mother's 90 years old. She remembers back in the days when white people had to drink off of white fountains and blacks had to drink off of black fountains. But then look at her life. She lived a good life for a minute. But when she started getting sickly, look how people took advantage of her. They called themselves her family. They called themselves her loved ones. Look at these facilities, nursing homes, people that's supposed to take care of you, hospitals that's supposed to take care of you, and they don't give a care about you. Yeah, I almost said the wrong word, but yeah, it, 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 would, be, uh, uh, it would be understandable in this situation. Yeah. I pray, Lord Jesus, that people have them some wheels, and, and when you have your wheel, make sure that you double sign and you have some people that observe you signing their wheel so that people don't change it on your deathbed. I pray that you make sure that you put in the, the people in your wheels that you want in there and take the people out of your wheel that you don't want in there. Be careful the people that you're planning on leaving things to because they probably don't care nothing about you. And when you die, they'll hurry up and unplug the machine and get rid of it. Lord, I pray for all the children of this world. I pray that the children don't see I become evildoers. I pray that they want to love their, their elderly. I pray that they want to respect them. I pray that they're taught this. I pray that the children in my family, my little cousins, I pray, Lord, that they don't grow up to, to mimic evil behavior and mimic evildoers. People that would use your own family for gain. Institutions that would cover up crime. Mm. Reveal it, Lord. Reveal it in my lifetime. Reveal it in my living. In my life, Lord. Reveal all the evil that has transpired against Mary Jane Willis. 
I pray for justice for Mary Jane Willis in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you always been there for me. I've been up and I've been down. I've been there, dear. And you sent your word and you sent your hand and you healed me. Lord, you told me that if I ask you, all I have to have is fervent prayer. And I have fervent prayer for you, Lord. I'm asking you, Lord, for my mother's sake. My mother who told me about you. She didn't have to, but she told me about you. She brought me and she brought numerous people. They seen her walk. They seen her when she didn't have, when they cut off her check. She didn't bend down and bow down. People in the neighborhood sent her, sent her their children so she could babysit them to supplement her income. And then finally you turned around and re-blessed her. And her friends, that were her true friends, came to her and helped her get signed back up for Social Security. Yeah, Lord, I've seen her bless. My mother had money that flowed through her hands. And she, we had money that flowed through our hands at one time, Lord. But you seen, you seen, you seen her down, Lord, and you picked her up. You seen me down, Lord, and you picked me up. Lord, you said you never the, the righteous would never be forsaken. And she loved you and she served you and she tabbed, Lord. So I know that I can't see that. The way she loved you and she cared about you. She's one of your children. She was anointed, Lord. I can't see that you're going to let her go out blind like that, Lord. And let allow people that have taken advantage of her to, to keep financial gain. To have status. To overcome when she did. She was a down, downtrodden. She was suffering. And they're going to turn around and they're going to rejoice off of her suffering? Mm. I don't believe it. I don't believe you brought her that fire to leave her. I don't believe it. Although she was blind, she couldn't see. She had dementia and she had Alzheimer's, but she still prayed over food. She still mentioned your name. She knew who God was, but she didn't know who I was. And I'm a firstborn. She didn't know me. And she prayed. I traveled out there. Long distances to see about my mother. And we didn't have a great relationship at one time. But that was my mother. And she became my responsibility. Just like I don't know if she really wanted me. She wanted a boy. And she had a girl. But she took care of me. She did the best that she could do. Especially in those trying times. The 60s. But you know what, Miss Rita Underwood from Christian Care Nursing Home and the family of Mary Jane Willis who said you love her, but I can't tell it. Because of what you did. It's going to bless her. She's, even though she's dead, she's going to be a blessing to other people. Because I'm going to do everything I can to help the elderly out here. I don't care what color you are, the elderly. Help them to seek justice. Help them to have a joyous life in their old age. And not regret being old in any way. Not be taken advantage of. Not be scammed. Our government is always sending out emails about how the elderly are being scammed. All their money and their savings is being taken out of their bank accounts. Pictures of their, their debit cards and credit cards are being taken, uh, taken pictures of and, and, and accounts wiped out of money taken out of their accounts and they can't replenish because they're on a fixed income. They're on the poverty line and then here it is someone coming and stealing their money. Stealing their social security checks, their disability checks. The retirement checks. Then they got to go out here and they got to work when they're 70 and 80 years old. I see it every day. And it's sad. When they should be sitting down and enjoying life. Because they brought us here. They fought a good fight in the day. They lived a life. They took care of us the best they could. And now they're suffering. They're being scammed. And that's not justice. That's injustice. And God don't like injustice. Read 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel of the Bible. 
King James Bible, the NIV Bible, the Message Bible, read the Bible, pick it up, pull it up on your phone, get that app, read 1 Samuel, it is 1, uh, 22 through 28, in there, where uh, Hannah prayed for a child, and she couldn't have a child, but her sister Panina kept on flaunting up. Her or her babies all up in her face, making fun of her sister. And then Hannah prayed, and when she did have a child, Samuel, she gave her child back to God. That's what the pastor talked about today. That was the verses he used. And so, yeah, how your mother prayed for her. And that's one thing Mama used to always say. Mary Jane Wills always said it. She said, I pray for y'all. She said, I pray. They said I couldn't have no kids. She said, they said I wasn't a woman unless I have kids. And she had me. Yeah, she had me. She didn't have to take care of me. She didn't have to have me, but she did. And it was trying time. And I didn't ask to be born, but I'm hurt. I didn't ask for her to be my mother. I didn't ask for my daddy to be my daddy. But it is what it is. My daddy's gone, and now my mother's gone. She would have left a house. She had a house. She had accomplished some things in life. But those were taken away from her. Her deed was passed around. I just pray for justice for her. I pray for justice for anybody that's elderly, that's forced into nursing homes, that's forced into institutions, that's do, forced against anything against their will, especially if they're in their right mind. I pray, Lord Jesus, for all the people that are involved in doing harm to people, especially elderly people, people that's not in their right mind, that don't know right from wrong. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Show your mighty hand. Show your mighty hand. Show your hand of justice. Because you said the righteous should never be forsaken. You said those that you love are yours, not just in living, but in death. You said they're yours. She's yours, Lord. Mm-mm. She's yours. No no injustice. Nah. Nah. She's anointed. She's your child. She gave you. She worshiped you. Yeah. You said all she got to do is call on you. Yeah, she's dead. She called on you. She asked for help. Help her, Lord. Help her. Help her name, Lord Jesus. Don't let her suffering and don't let her death be in vain. Let her death I question that. Let her death, Lord. Let her death be a blessing to others. Let people be helped. And uplifted. By her death, Lord. This I pray in your mighty name. In your mighty name. And this one right here, Lord. This you too. I will pass on. To the regular ones. So the other people in my family. My relatives. You know. So they, they can be aware of what's going on. Because there was a whole lot of misinformation. Trying to set me up to be the bad guy. But I, don't need, I didn't need no defense. And I don't need no defense now. Because you are my lawyer. <laughs> and I didn't need to answer that. But this right here, my family will see. And my family will see my mother overcoming the injustices that were portrayed against her. I love you, family. I love you. You know, I pray that my cousin Sheila and everybody, I pray they stop worrying and, and stressing. You know, life's too short for that. Give it to God, girl. Give it to God. I pray for my cousin. You know, I pray for my cousin, Carrie, Lord. I pray that you watch over and bless him, Lord, because he's in a situation where he's taking care of his mother. You know, he's helping her out, you know. So he's going through trials and tribulations, Lord. You know, so I pray. I have one auntie left, Lord. One auntie left. I pray that you watch over and bless her, Lord. I pray that you keep her body healed and keep her mind sane, Lord, because she 
her vocabulary her, her vocabulary is very beautiful and her mind is is fresh last time i talked to her you know so i pray that you watch her way out and take care of her lord you know be a comfort to her lord be a comfort to her be a comfort to my cousin and my cousins my little cousins that go and take care of and talk to her and 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 and, and uh and 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 keep watch over her i pray lord jesus one thing i learned lord with this and uh then i'm gonna get out for it one thing i did learn i used to think that wow you know hey you're 90 years old you lived a life it's easy to go but oh con con contrary what is contrary contrary no 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 it don't matter if you live to be 150 years old life is very important and it is vital at any age your life, your presence here means a lot. When my mother was here, it meant a lot. I didn't realize until she was gone. I realized some, but I didn't realize totally how important it was just for her to be here because that was our history. Maybe they would have eventually invented some type of cure to Alzheimer's because it's, it, it's some powerful scientists here that God has anointed. And I thought maybe that they would have a cure for Alzheimer's and dementia and maybe she could start talking and talking about our family history and tell us about my granddaddy and our grandfather so that the third and fourth generation children would know where they came from, the heritage, because to me, it's very important that you know where you came from, because if you don't know where you came from, you don't really know where you're going. And I have just discovered that myself. But greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me that. And God saying, ta-ta, you know. Like I said, I pray that God strengthens you. Hug your mother. Love your mother. Love your father. Love your family. You know, I don't care all of that about if you married or not. You got a loved one. You got a man in your life. You got a woman in your life. Hug them. Love them. You got step. What is it? The mama-in-law and all of that type of thing. Love them. Hug them. You know, stop, stop looking down on each other and arguing and bickering over bull crap. You know, get together and love one another. You know what I'm saying? Respect the family. You know what I'm saying? Respect the family. You got kids, five or six kids, whatever, different daddies, whatever. Love them. Love them. Respect them. Let them kids know about their heritage. Let them know about their family, their daddies, and stuff like that, and their mothers, if it's possible. Because I know in some situations that it's not possible, you know. But when it is possible for that child to be around that other parent, let that child be about that parent. Let that child know their history. Tell them their history. Please tell them their history. I'm not just talking about slavery. Forget that. that. You know what I'm saying? That's not all that. I'm older, but there are some younger children that, that don't that wasn't a part of slavery per se. You know, tell them about how their granddaddy smoked a, a black and mild. <laughs> That's nowadays, you know. Tell how their daddy smoked a black and mild. Tell how their daddy used to drink coke and rum, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lemon on the side or something. You know, talk about it so that child will be familiar with the heritage and their people and their bloodline. That I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. God said, hey, talk to you later. Bye-bye.